Hi, and welcome to this video tutorial on the Visualize Proposed Development Solution. This solution can be used to publish a 3D scene that contains a new development plan and share the proposed plan with other members in your organization or the public. You can add the proposed development as a multi-patch feature class if it's already in a geodatabase, or load a 3D model of the proposal into a multi-patch feature template. Now we support a variety of input formats such as Collada and 3D Studio. And then you can place the model in the scene and translate it into the correct location and optionally scale it and rotate it. Now once you're done, we save the changes back to the feature class. Now this was importing individual buildings. So now let's load the whole development proposal into the scene at once. Now as you can see, the new development overlaps in the scene with existing buildings and trees, and we don't want that in our final scene. So what we can do is run the mask existing features task to hide the overlapping features in each existing layer. And this only sets a definition query on your layer so you can easily undo this if required. So for the buildings we've hidden now about 10 buildings. And then we'll do the same for the trees. So the trees are the input features and the masking features is the proposed development. And here, eight trees have been removed or are hidden, as said by the definition query. So now we're ready to publish our proposed development. We can publish to Portal for ArcGIS or to ArcGIS Online. And in this case, we'll publish to ArcGIS Online. First, we create a scene layer package, and then we share this package to ArcGIS Online. So we enter a summary and we enter tags and then we hit run. Now this uploads a scene layer package to our ArcGIS online account. So let's have a look there. There we have our layer. If you click on it, then we get the option to publish the package as a scene layer. So once it's published, we can open the layer in our scene viewer. Now the great thing about the scene viewer is that it runs in a browser with no plugin and no download. So it's very easy to share these 3D scenes with other members in your organization or the public. So here we have our proposed development. Now let's load in some other layers such as the existing buildings and existing trees that I published earlier. Now a great feature of these web scenes is uh, are the so-called slides. The slides allow you to capture the scene state. So what we can do is we can set the layers to represent the existing situation capture a slide and then set the scene to the proposed situation and capture another slide. So this is the existing situation and this is the proposed situation. So then your intended audience can easily flick backwards and forwards between the existing and the proposed scenario. We save the scene and we're done. Thank you for watching.